Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, new brewery alert for the channel. I love when that happens. It's the best. Civil Society Brewing Company. They are in Jupiter, Florida. Who, there's a minor league, or not a minor league, there's a, it doesn't, don't they play spring training in Jupiter? They might have used to. Vero Beach, I have no idea. I'm not a Florida person. I've never been to Florida. I need to go there. My kids want to go to Disney World so bad, and I'm like, dude, you guys have Disneyland right up the street. I know it's not the same, but it's kind of the same, and I don't have to travel cross country and pay for all that stuff. Uh, dad problems. My wife wants to go to, whatever. Uh, yeah, this is fresh. 6.2% alcohol by volume. India Pale Ale, and I dig that label. It's so cool. It just, I mean, it's, that's Florida, right? Palm trees, yellows, like sandy, and it's just, it says fresh. Um, yeah, I've never heard of these guys. This beer comes courtesy of my man, Ralph. Just, <laughs> I always say, like, how ridiculously kind the craft beer community is. I got a message from him a couple weeks ago. I was like, hey, I go to this brewery, it's local, and I think you should try their beer. And he sent them to me. Like, <laughs> it's so crazy. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. So, um, it sucks because when he sent these beers, he um, sent like each beer in the hops and I forgot to look and see what this is. I'm starting with this one because it's the lowest ABV beer that he sent. So that's what we're doing. I think this was canned. They don't can their, or sorry, they don't can. They don't date their cans. I think this is about, it's between two and three weeks old. So I don't know if this is, it's gotta be New England style, right? I feel like that's what everyone's doing these days. Yes, sir, it is. Um, it's funny that people have been talking about that recently. I think New England style, wow, that smells good. I can smell it from here. Um, they're talking about New England style, like just got added as a BJCP category, something or other. I'm probably misspeaking when I say that, but New England IPA is officially a thing. So there you go. It's not going away anytime soon. In this bug, can you guys see that? It's a little bug. Um, this is actually quite dark. Uh, it looks sort of like, it probably looks lighter on camera with the lights out here, but from here, if you were sitting next to me in this garage, playing video games, you'd be like, oh, that looks like the old school hoof-hearted beers. It kind of looks like a homebrew, to be honest with you. It's super murky, um, like that dark kind of orange color, and the head is not sticking around. But there was a bright white head about a finger of it. There's already glass lacing, though. It is haze for days. It's a New England style looking IPA. So, shoot, I wish I remembered to look up. I, I know I say usually um, I like going into beers blind, but he like took the time to type out all the hops, and I forgot to look it up. But like I said, I can smell it from right here. It smells good. Let's shove our nose in it. This smells like orange bubble gum. <laughs> it does. Um, not like juicy fruit bubble gum, but it smells like orange bubble gum. There's a good amount of maltiness in there too. It's funny because it's a New England style beer. It's super hazy and like murky. You would think this was gonna be like a juice bomb. It's not, it smells good, but it's balanced. It's really, really balanced actually. It is, it's like orange. Just think of like orange sticks of gum. Not even, like, this bu bug is gonna really bother me. Dang it. I wonder if you, can you guys see that? There's two of them out here. Nope. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Every time I drink uh, crazy hoppy beer, <laughs> should we just do this for the rest of the night? Every time I drink like crazy hoppy beers, um, bugs like come out from wherever and they try and fly in the glass, it's going to bug me. Hope It's going to bug me. It's a bug. Hopefully you guys can't see that. Yeah, it's orange and it's like peachy. Um, it does, it smells like gum. And there's a good amount of like kind of bready maltiness that's there. It, it balances, it's not like one or the other. It's not overly malty, it's not overly like juicy. It's a great balance of hops and malt. Um, the beer is not like crazy explosive aromatic, sorry. Um, but it smells good, it smells really, really good. So let's go and taste it, Ralph, cheers. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it, I mean, the taste falls in those. It tastes like orange gum. It's funny. Um, there's a good amount of green. What is that? It's almost like green, like old school West Coast hop. Is it pine? It's like green, piney. It's almost, it's got to be pine. I almost said like green, like spearmint, but that's gotta be like pine trees, right? Like piney kind of pine needles. That's really, really green on the finish. Uh, mouthfeel on this one, it's a little on the thin side. 
but it's really, really drinkable. I know Matt gets mad at me when I talk about mouthfeel of beers. It's just something that I notice reviewing almost 600 beers and drinking all the beers that I drink. Um, mouthfeel's kind of like become a big deal with people. People are all about mouthfeel. So that's the only reason why I mention it. It doesn't like to track things except for when I drink stouts. I admit that, whatever. Um, but up front it is, it's like that orange kind of, it's not even bubble gum. It's like, or gosh, this is really bugging me. What's funny is like most people would cut this and like start their review over. We're just going to leave it in here. I like to try and kill bugs that are in my face. Um, it's like orange stick gum. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, and then middle of your palate to finish, it goes to this cool, like green earthy hoppy thing. It's piney. I think it reminds me of like Centennial or Columbus or one of the sea hops. This, it does. It, it reminds me of like an old school kind of West coast feel on the finish of it, but it still has that cool balance of like that orange kind of juiciness, that fruity kind of orange. Um, but yeah, it's plenty green, which is cool. I like that. And there's a good like amount of that kind of bready maltiness on the finish. This is a really cool beer. Um, this is nothing that's like blowing my mind, but we've reviewed some really killer built killer beers lately. Um, but this is a cool, like first beer from them. If I was in Jupiter, Florida, I'd be drinking these beers all the time. It is. It's just a tad thin on the mouthfeel. It's almost, it's getting like that pithy, like grapefruit peel too. Now that it's kind of warming up in my hand. Yeah. I love how West coast it is on the finish, like mid palate to finish. It is, it gets pithy grapefruit rind. It's green. It's piney earthy, not quite to like the dank resiny, but this is super easy drinking for a 6% beer. Um, like I said, it's a good first beer from them. Like grade wise, I don't know, probably like in the high eighties, 88, 89, like right up towards that eight, if they could up the mouthfeel a little bit and make um, the aromatics a little more explosive and maybe even on the, the taste of it, it could be an age thing. It could be, it came cross country, Florida. It was hot as shit when he sent this too. It was like, in the, it was like 104 the day that it came and the box was warm. So that could have affected the taste and um, aromatics a little bit of it. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to go like 89 on this one. It's really, really good. I'm stoked I got to try this. And he sent a bunch of other Civil Society beers. So we're going to just go up uh, by ABV. It, he sent me some, I think one of them's like 6.8, one's 8.5, and, and one might be a little bit higher than that. But yeah, I'm stoked on this beer. It's fresh from Civil Society. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.